I realized over time is, man, I actually lost Oakland. And I've recently found it again. <laughs> and that at now at 42 years old, now that part of me can express through all of the self-work, all of the self-exploration that I've done. And I can now focus that energy rather than it just being violently distributed in, in different ways toward myself mostly and then also towards others. And so I think both perspectives are necessary. It's more of the question for me is always, you know, how is it serving me? What's my experience of it? What's my, ex what's other people's experiences of me? I think a part of self-work that becomes a very strong way for us to deflect is as we start to learn about other people's projections, and we start to learn that we don't need to own other people's projections. That can become a very strong place for us to deflect from self rather than asking self in moments when people are projecting onto you, whatever it is, grandeur or shit, asking yourself, I wonder if that projection is true. I wonder if I can find a part of me within their projection rather than just saying oh that's just your that's just your projection i'm not going to own that and that starts to really fascinate me is is this this it's pretty interesting it keeps going back to this dynamic balance so uh elliot does an excellent job of of teaching men how to be interestingly men in elliot's way and they each take on their perspective and hopefully take his teachings, take what they love about his teachings and take what they don't like about his teachings and then move forward and find their own way in the same way. Uh, you know, I love Paul's teachings and I love what Paul shares with the world. And it's purposeful for me to, to find my own way to find where I agree, to find where I disagree and to find my own expression in life, whether that's with, with Paul again, or Chris Kresser, or J.P. Sears, or John McMullen, who have all been my mentors, is to say, okay, I'm here to find where I agree, and I'm here to find where I disagree, and I'm here to be curious about both, and I'm here to allow myself to find my own philosophy and my own way of living life, because I need to be true to Jatur, yeah. not to Paul, not to Chris, not to JP, not to John. I need to be true to Jator. You know what, Jator, it, it brings to mind for me, this, if I can make an analogy of the of sort of biochemical individuality and the, you know, the concept of, of metabolic typing in which <clears throat> obviously everybody's unique and, and what they need to heal on a physiological level and of course other levels. Um, but, but also they have different, so for instance, we've got uh, the sympathetic and parasympathetic, or we've got you know, um, fast oxidizer, slow oxidizer. People's types can shift, right? What, they're, what they need in order to uh, continue on that path to healing can shift and change. And so at one time, they can need to heal the sympathetic division of their autonomic nervous system, and their metabolic type would represent that. And so what they put into their body, their experience, is in order to balance and restore function to that side, their type can then shift over to a parasympathetic and then, you know, what their needs are in terms of diet and intake also can shift. So to bring it back to this masculine, what, you know, what is it? If, if being masculine, if that side of, of being a man uh, and being masculine, that includes the vulnerability is the area that needs healing. That's where you are and that's where you exist. If, if it's the you know, being connected to your body and the earth and, and um, being physically strong, if that's the part that needs to be healing, that's where your experience should exist. So I see, I see kind of a corollary there with, with just a different way to, to look at that. And, 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 mm. and, and to your point, wherever you need to be is where you are. And so if you're going at it in this place of self-awareness, you, you have that opportunity for growth. Uh, well said, brother. I love that. I love that. And I think in, in what we've kind of been dancing with too, um, you know, when I, when I feel into what I perceive to be my purpose on this planet, at least currently, 
uh, which influences my perspective <laughs> greatly, is uh, I find a lot of purpose in uh, being an alpha male, being strong, uh, being fast, uh, playing ice hockey, uh, checking, um, getting down with, with the best of them. I find a lot of purpose in that. And part of my purpose is to also show you can do that and still have that alive in your life and be soft, be gentle, be vulnerable, be emotional, be available, be thoughtful, be kind, and be present. And that feels purposeful to me.